All right, an American Airlines pilot basically told a woman she had to get off the, uh, she had to change her shirt because it was a pro-choice shirt. Did you hear about this story, Lewis? Yes, crazy. An American Airlines captain took the female passenger to task because she was wearing a shirt that said, if I wanted the government in my womb, I'd F a senator. But it had the F word fully spelled out on the shirt, and it was inspired by an Oklahoma senator who wore a similar shirt in protest of her Republican Senate colleague's support of a personhood amendment. So according to the woman, she was on the plane on the first leg of her flight home. She spent most of the time sleeping and using a shawl she had as a blanket, which may have covered some of the shirt. And right before they were set to land, the flight attendant from first class approaches and asks her if she had a connecting flight. She said um, that she, uh, sh the woman assumed it was because they were running slightly behind and the flight attendant wanted to make sure she would be able to get the flight. And then she said, well, you're going to need to speak with the captain before you leave the plane because the shirt you're wearing is offensive. So when the woman was leaving the plane, the captain steps off with the woman and tells her she shouldn't have been allowed to board the plane in D.C. and she needs to change before boarding the connecting flight. Now, the conversation led to her actually missing her connecting flight altogether. And she assumed that she, because she was being held up by the captain, they would have called ahead and said, we've got a person who's connecting. We are here. Just give her five minutes. No such luck. The plane left and they were able to rebook her on a different flight altogether. Very strange stuff, isn't it, Lewis? Yes. Are captains able to do this? The cap that's one of those things. The captain, it's like the captain can do whatever he wants. If he does, uh, what I think the rule is, is that if the captain determines that somebody is wearing something that would make either the passenger or other passengers uncomfortable or the staff, they can kind of do whatever they want. And that is easily a shirt that could make people uncomfortable and offend people. I mean, are, are we certain that, uh, that the pilot was, was doing this because of his views on the issue? Well, that's the thing. We don't know that. Yeah. However, I have a feeling if we... I, I think the problem we're getting into is that the shirt had an expletive. OK, right. because if you had a sh the people are saying if, if it was a shirt that just said choose life, the captain wasn't going to have a problem with that. Or even well, if F was in, uh, you know, the, the symbols like F, F and then three and then symbols. three asterisks. Yeah. yeah, I think that might have gotten the same response. But I wish we could actually say for sure this was because it supported women's rights to choose whatever medical procedures make sense for them. However, because it had the, the expletive on there, I'm not comfortable just going and saying, look at what's going on here. American Airlines captains are instituting a anti-abortion policy. A lot of people are saying that, yeah. but I'm just not comfortable going that far because we don't know. We don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's you're, you're approaching new territory when there's expletives clearly written on your shirt, yeah, regardless of the message. I no mean, question. It, and, you know, let's take it a step further. What if the pro-life shirt said abortion is murder? Every life is worth saving. That's getting a little bit more uh, edgy, I guess. And that may have offended somebody. I, I don't know. It's just I can't. People are, are sending me this uh, story and saying, look at this incredible anti-abortion thing from, from this American Airlines captain. Based on the details I know, it may just be because it had expletives on it. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. If, if there were a bunch of little kids around and a woman was wearing, anyone was wearing a shirt that had expletives written like that on it, and I were the captain, I would probably say something like, can you try to cover that up or something like that? Right. You know? Well, legally, the woman, when she got off, when she was between flights, she actually was asked to change the shirt. She had her bag checked, so she couldn't change her shirt unless she bought one. So she asked a, an attorney friend of hers, apparently she called or was traveling with an attorney friend, and said, if I turn this inside out, is that legally the same thing as changing the shirt? And the attorney said, yes. Um, and I guess she just covered it up with the shawl or, and or turned it inside out. And that was that. Hmm. All right. Well. We can't, uh, we can't be certain about anything here. I, I would love to be able to point out if we are seeing this type of, of uh, editorial bias by American Airlines captains, but based only on this, I can't say that. Let's take a break. Facebook.com slash David Pakman Show. We'll be back to talk to Ray Comfort after this about his anti-abortion movie comparing abortion to the Holocaust. Stay tuned. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.